If you're looking for an alternative to the overused PowerPoint slide deck, then you can take a look at Vizme's new presentation templates. These sleek, minimalist, professionally designed templates are easy to customize with just a few clicks. In this short step-by-step -step tutorial, we'll show you how to do it. So all I have to do to get started is simply go to the top right of my screen. Here I'll see a plus sign, and when I click on it, a theme library comes up. Here you'll find dozens of different templates that you can use with different chart styles. For example, there's uh, radiographs, there's population infographics, bar charts and line charts, or even maps. So to add one of these, all I have to do is click on them and they'll automatically be added to the right pane here with the different slides that I already have. So now all I have to do is go back to my title slide and then to insert my own information, I simply click on the text box and the text is automatically selected and I start typing in my text and it's as simple as that. And then I go to slide number two and I can also customize information here by doing the same. I click on the text box and type in my text. So let's say six out of 10 people uh, live in urban areas. So I type in my text. I can customize the look of the text by changing the font style. I can choose any font I like. I can choose any size. And I can choose any color. So let's say I also want to change the look of these icons here, which represent individual units of people. I can also do that by simply clicking on them and then changing the number of icons per row or changing their color. So let's say instead of three, I want four. I can simply type in my value here and I can insert one other person. Or let's say that I don't want them male. I want them male and female. I want them mixed. I can choose that option here as well. And then I can also change the color. So let's say instead of three out of 10 people, I wanna say, um, let's say seven out of 10. So then I can change this to blue and there I have seven out of 10 people. And I can change the information here as well to go along with my representation. And next I can go to the chart sample in slide three. And then here I can also customize this information by simply clicking on these radiographs and then inserting my own value. I can either use the slider here or I can manually insert it here by clicking on it and then typing in the value. So let's say I wanna put in 41%. I can also change the text color if I want. I can change it to anything I want. Let's say I want to make it blue, I can do that. And then I can also decide to either show the value or not and to widen the stroke. And then going to the line graph template, I can also customize this with my information by simply double clicking on this and then you'll see the chart engine come up. Here I can insert my own values. So if I want to put here four, five, and seven, you'll see the corresponding graph show up. And you'll also see that it's automatically animated. So then I replace it and I can do that for each one of these. So let's say that I want um, to create a presentation that is not statistical in nature and I want more um, diagrams and charts related to processes or maybe um, managerial structure. So then I can choose a different theme and I can do that by going back to my dashboard and I can choose another template. For example, let's say I chose this one. It's called um, the narrow theme. So I select it and then once inside I can do the same thing as I did with the previous one. I just click on the plus sign to add a new slide and then I see different options available for me within the theme library. And so I've picked a couple of ones already. Um, for example, this flow chart here, I can customize it by simply clicking on the text and inserting my own. So let's say this can be useful for an organizational chart um, something that shows a hierarchy in your organization, or it can also be useful as a flow diagram. So let's say I want to show different um, branches in the process. So I can also do that. And I can simply put in my information, or if I want to create more levels, I can 
um, select all these objects and copy them. And so then I have another level here. And I can just put in my information. Or let's say I want to create, for example, a graph that is a little bit different from the typical bar graph. So here I have a triangle graph which can replace the bars and all I have to do is size these according to um, what I'm representing. So, um, you know, I can size it up or down. And so here we're getting a little bit creative with something um, a little bit sleeker and more minimalist than the typical bar graph. Um, and so down here I can put in the titles of each of these um, different data points and the corresponding information. And then I have also this gears diagram where here I can also um, insert my information and replace these icons by simply eliminating them and then looking for a new one. So let's say instead of the telephone, I want to put in something else like a cell phone. So all I have to do is type in the keyword and then I insert my icon. And I position it where I want to and I can also change the color according to my color scheme. And then I have finally a timeline. Um, I can also do the same. I insert my information and I can replace these icons in the same manner that I did the previous ones. So this is how simple it is to customize presentation templates within Visme. Um, stay tuned for more tips and hacks. We have several different dozens of presentation templates coming along, which will be useful for a variety of needs. Thank you.